So what is scarcity? Ladies and gents in Cyberland, come back to another educational video. And this time we're going to be talking about scarcity. So, what exactly is it? I'm sure everybody who's watched some type of television or cartoon or movie at some point has heard that word scarcity. What exactly is it? Well, scarcity is pretty much when the demand is high, but there's not enough to go around. Example would be PlayStation 5. I don't own one right now, I'm going to wait. But the point is, when the PlayStation 5 first dropped, there was a scarcity. You couldn't get them. And the only people that were able to get them happened to be the scalpers. And they were charging three, four times the amount of what the system happened to be worth. And some people were paying, and other people were saying, screw it, I'll wait. But the scarcity was there wasn't enough to fill the shelves. high demand, but the high demand wasn't being met. That's one example. Another example has been the housing industry. There's been a scarcity. With everything that happened in the last two years, especially in places like California, there's been a scarcity of homes where people have been willing to pay, you know, 50, 60, sometimes $100,000 of the asking price for a home with also an appraisal contingency removal to buy the home. And let's not forget how many of those offers were put in for that home. Might have been 30, 40 offers, sometimes 50. I've, I've heard of that. <laughs> Why? Well, there's a shortage of homes due to what happened in the last two years of the whole COVID thing, people were not so inclined to sell their home. They were not so inclined to let someone into their home so that they can sell it. Or because a lot more people were working from home, were not so inclined to want to move because now they could, they didn't have to relocate. They can just work from home. So a lot of those things played a factor. And let's not forget, California, as I've been told, and I talked to the gurus and the people that have been in the business for 20 years, and even homeowners that I happen to know, California has kind of been behind in building new homes. So we have been had a shortage for a long time. So that creates a higher demand. And unfortunately, a lot of people that would like to purchase a home have the buying power to purchase a home, but they keep getting outbid. And it wasn't just at somebody who could afford a six hundred thousand dollar home; it was at the eight hundred thousand, the one million dollar uh, level, two million dollar level, three million. It was across the board. So don't think it was only people in a certain price bracket. It was all the brackets. So the two millions were pushing out the one million buyers. The one million buyers were pushing out the nine hundred thousand buyers, and the nine hundred thousand buyers were pushing out the eight hundred thousand buyers. And it just trickled all the way down. Just boom, boom. Everybody getting knocked out to buy the homes in their price point because somebody that's way above their price point is knocking them out because they're being knocked out from their price point. It's just like a ooh, 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 ooh. People just getting knocked around from all level A knocks out level B. Level B knocks out level C. And it just keeps going forward, you know, forward, 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 forward. So that's what scarcity is. Now, how do we stop a scarcity? Well, it depends on the subject, but for example, the housing industry, one way to stop it is to increase interest rates, but another way to stop it is to have more inventory. How do you have more inventory? Well, you need to build homes. So that's that example. Um, 
Same thing happened with computer equipment. There was a scarcity for, I believe it was, what was it? Was it the motherboard? It was the um, video cards. In the last two years, there was a huge scarcity for video cards. So people couldn't get the video card that they wanted for their PC. And that, that was one thing. And then also, the automobile industry, there's a scarcity right now. Why? Because there's a shortage of the certain type of chips, apparently, that are utilized for automobiles, also utilized for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox, also utilized for computer equipment, also utilized for um, stoves. I just found that out. Stoves! I just found out, literally, like a couple weeks ago, that there is a shortage of stoves. Stoves meaning people that buy a stove to cook on. There's a scarcity of stoves because of this chip, chip shortage. What? Yeah, it's happening. So that's what a scarcity is. And the only way to combat it is, uh, well, I've heard raise prices, but I don't agree with that. I think the only way to combat it is you need to, you need to make more money. You need to have more available for the people to purchase. But with everything that's happened, that's been going on and currently is going on with the economy, that's a little difficult. However, that's what it is. So I figured, you know, those who are asking or who thought about it or, or those who never consider what a scarcity is, that's what it is. Um, now, let's just... Um, I don't mean to laugh, it's not it's not funny, but there wasn't a scarcity of toilet paper, okay, ladies and gentlemen? That was a situation of people panicking for no reason. There was no scarcity of toilet paper. Um, but there has been a scarcity of baby formula. And there was a scarcity of certain type of meats. And I think there was a scarcity of turkeys last Thanksgiving. I didn't have a problem getting them. Anyway, with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.